Greetings wherever you are watching us from any part of the world. Welcome to Harman Manuara's channel. My name is Jadil Cabrera here with Harman Manuara, the one and only for a conversation on understanding politics. I was just telling you we've done 22 episodes of this conversation. How has it been for you since That's we started? Great. That's great. That's great. I, I think it's been a good, good show. Mm. 22 episodes and now we are we are saying this is the final one at least for this year uh, and then we continue with political conversations obviously coming up with new things in case you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so prof how are you doing though uh, today? i'm fine i'm fine i, I thank god mm. for keeping me alive and in good health good health indeed but we i don't take it for granted ah. and i ask our viewers don't take anything for granted they say and when you wake up say thank wherever you wherever you yeah. are god is wherever your maker is wherever your creator is mm. Whatever you perceive God to be, uh, always praise you. You can make a very good pastor. When we come back, let's take a look at the comments uh, you left behind on last week's uh, analysis by Prof. Manuara. Okay, here is Talk to Africa. He said, I have a feeling that Gideon Moy and Kalozo have reasoned with themselves and accepted that even if they run, Raila is better placed. But Mudavadi is not happy, may end up running for the sake of it. If any of these leaders run, will they be running out of the sake of it, as he's saying, or because they feel like uh, they can win the elections? You know, there are people like Mudavadi and uh, very good people, actually. They are saying they have supported Raila enough. They have sacrificed enough for Raila. Mm. They have supported him materially, politically, and so on, which is true. Mm -hmm. But do they also look at the country? Mm. If they are looking at Raila. They ought to look at the country. Mm. So if it's a question of sacrificing to the, for the country because you love it, between them and Raila, who has sacrificed most? Oh. So they, they, they may want to run because they are sulking. Mm. They want Raila to support them. Again, you know, again, it's good to be realistic. Even if Raila supported Mudavadi, could he win? Mm. He can't win. Hey. Not, not now, not against Ruto. Mm. You see, I looked at 2017 and I said, there is absolutely no way anybody other than Raila could face the jubility. Mm. And that's a fact. Mm. And I, I, I would have even advise the at that time. Today I'm asking them, is there one among them who can face Ruto mm. in 2022? Mm. Gideon Moe? Kalonzo, Msioka, Wetangula, or famously Weta, Salim Dabadi, MD Madividi. Can they face Ruto? Mm. It's good to be honest. Because even if in, the, in your bedroom at night and you are Mdavadi or Kalonzo and ask your wife, my dear, do you think I, I can beat Ruto? They will uh. tell you. They will be honest. Uh. They will tell you. Uh. You try and run. Maybe sometimes it's good to run. Uh. But you cannot beat Ruto. Uh, Only yeah. one man can face Ruto in this car. Uh. It is as clear and as simple mm. and as true as that. It doesn't mean these guys are not good. Uh. It is a question of time. Mm. The time is not good for them. The time now is for them to back Raila. How about the people that would say uh, it is Raila now to back them? This is what uh, uh, Jack Muraguri said. Herman Manyora, it is time for Raila to support somebody else. Stop assuming. They agreed that Raila will once come and support them. Isn't that what they're waiting for? But Raila has told them he was supposed to become president. Mm. And then he will support them after even one term. Has he become president? Mm. He didn't make it. So there, is no, there was no trophy to give. If he didn't have the trophy. He didn't have the trophy. So what was he going to give? Spendi Ujinga said all this agreement and uh, handshake was to bring Gideon Moy into the helm of power. Kenyatta thinks Kenyans are stupid to hell with dynasties. Are we still speaking, having conversation on dynasties and hustlers? Uh, there are no dynasties, mm. wh whichever way you perceive it. Mm. Because it's a very narrow way of looking at things. Mm. I listened to Huru in 2002 when he was still a rookie politician. He said, Kama baba yako walikuwa na, anauza nyama, we wezi uza nyama. Mm. Because baba yako walikuwa anauza. Mm. So now, what, what people like Ruto are telling me, mm. and you, yeah. and Kenyans, is mm. that Nick Ruto should have no business looking for any political seat. Mm. Sure. You are being unfair to Nick Ruto. Mm. You are being unfair to Uhuru's uh, children, if they want to run for office. Mm. A dynasty is an established traditional way of handing over power through generations. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. A dynasty is something bigger than a king, a kingdom, mm. bigger than an empire. Mm. You know, mm. 
it is, it is infused with many things that make a certain family so powerful, so powerful that for generations they are in charge of things. That's what Adina said. Isn't that what is happening in the country? Them plotting to now bring Gideon Moy no, again? No, no. What happens, and many people do not seem to understand, when you want to sell a product, there is something called brand recognition, name recognition. Mm. If you stand for politics, Jad, the first thing you'll have to do is to make people know you. Mm -hmm. it, is, it takes more than 50% of your effort and your resources just to make people in that constituency know you. Mm -hmm. So now, these people have a head start. They already have a name. And you can't blame them for that. If you come from a location and you want to be an MCA and your father is a lead businessman, oh. People already know you because of your father's name. Mm. If you want to be an MP and your father was once an MP or a minister, you have a head start. It is simply that. Oh. It happens like that across the world. Mm. But there are people who come on the scene and rubbish that arrangement. People from nowhere, people like Ruto. Mm. They have no father, they have no name. Mm. But they can make means meal or people like Chesire. Oh. And that's how leaders are grow and are, are developed. <laughs> You get people sitting on their laurels, they come from established families, their fathers who are things, and you beat them, uh. and you move on. You are a man, uh. like Ruto. Uh. So what, this dynasty thing is rubbish. So you feel like there's a lot of sympathy because uh, no, some, some no, people do not find themselves in Because actually he's doing his own, himself the service. Because uh. then tomorrow people will tell Nick Ruto, you are dynasty, go home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Ndula said, I still maintain Kalons and Mudavadi. Uh, Mudabadi, it ends for them next year to make matters worse, regardless of what they do, whether to support Baba or going it alone, they are doomed. Look at Kalonzo, for instance, now he can't be Raila's running mate, he will have to settle for a lesser post or whatever is thrown at him. The wrong, the running mate post is reserved for Peter Kenneth, if I'm wrong, and then goes ahead and say the MKF will unveil the running mate in Feb next year. Is this what now the politics will look like by the next year? will go along those lines. Mm. The, the, the Kalonzos have lost a chance. Ah. The Mdavadis to remain with Raila, mm. fight as a team. It will be very difficult mm. for anybody to remove them from power oh. if they were with Raila. Mm. But they have done themselves the service by trying to move away from Raila. Mm and going into irrelevance. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what that guy is saying. Okay, uh, last one, let me look at uh, uh, Wiz, Wiz Dead HC. He says, Tunajua Gideon Moy atakuwa running mate wa Raila uh, next year. Uh, no. Do you see that happening? It will not work. If you make Gideon Moy running mate, <laughs> you spoil the game. You'll spoil the game? You'll spoil the game. Why not? Because now it's like, it's, it's like you are telling Kenyans you are fools. Yeah? Mm. Here you go. We, we, this, this is the arrangement. So what you do, you hide Gideon behind. Mm -hmm. You put Raila and somebody else. Raila and someone else? Yes. Uh -huh. Then in, in the right time, <laughs> at the right time, you bring him. Okay. And the right time, to me, is immediately after Raila becomes president in 2022. <laughs> they will only take six months to bring back the BBI bill. <laughs> with a little calibration. <laughs> with even more powerful prime minister. <laughs> and Raila, and it will take effect immediately. <laughs> it will not wait for 2027. <laughs> this thing will come in 2023, <laughs> take effect immediately, <laughs> And Raila will become a, a less powerful president with a much more powerful prime minister. And mm -hmm. this is how you are going now to, to you see the chips, the pieces moving. Mm -hmm. Gideon Moy, one of those things, mm -hmm. like that. No. As we head into 2027, mm -hmm. the road for Gideon will now be clear. Mm -hmm. If they look at 2027 as being too soon, mm -hmm. they will push him to 2032. Oh. But sure enough, Gideon Moy will be the president of this country at some point. At some point. Yes. Wouldn't that be bringing dynasty conversation it's not again? Dynasty. It's just that I've told you they enjoy certain advantages <laughs> you can't take away from them. Oh, uh. But doesn't mean somebody else cannot beat them. Uh. Obama came from nowhere and he beat the Hillary Clintons. Mm. You know, who could be more dynasty in your definition of dynasty <laughs> than Hillary Clinton? Uh. The husband had been president. Uh. Earlier on, he had been a governor. Mm. Kansas. You know, so what are we talking about? Uh. Obama came from where? A boy from Kogelo here? Illinois. Upper <laughs> Kogelo, yeah. Illinois, Kitwane. Yeah. We, we count people from their father's side. <laughs> okay. Not like you people who count from your mother's side. Okay, let's get into the talk. Let's talk about a runoff, possibility of a runoff in case the players remain as they are until 2022. What will the elections look like a day after the voting day? Until, uh, let's get into uh, the talk.
Today's talk is brought about by conversations that I've seen happening. Samuel Joroga wrote this on our comment section, said, uh, Prof, these Oka leaders are in the game of pushing the elections to a runoff. Then come 2022, support Raila in round two. How do you see this playing in next year's election once we have a runoff? If these leaders stay the way they are, is there a possibility of a runoff? And what will happen once it does? That's a gamble. That's a gamble that Raila took in 2013 mm. and it didn't pay off. He wanted a runoff? Yeah, he, that's what they were going for. Mm. They were going for a runoff and they would have beaten Uhuru and Ruto hands down. But those miraculous 80,000 votes mm. did the trick mm. and they found themselves home. But they didn't participate in the, in the second election then? No, no, I'm saying 2013. Oh, 2013. Yeah, so mm. the runoff is not quite uh, an, a, a good idea to... It's not a good strategy. Mm. Uh, secondly, even if there was a runoff, who tells you they will be relevant? Mm -hmm. No, they're not. But more importantly, there will be no runoff. There will be no runoff for this you. This thing Raila has taken, just like this. Even if the players remain as they are constant, Mudabadi still runs, Kalonzo runs, Gideon runs. Whatever happens, look here. Mm. If elections are held today, mm. Ruto will get like 52, 53, 54 percent. He will win the election today. Today. 50, up to 55 percent. Mm. Completely, you win. Mm. But if you notice, if it was like five, six months ago, he would have had 65%. Mm -hmm. Of course, Raila wasn't there. Now Raila has come, brought it to around 52, 53, 54%. In the coming few months, and as Raila declares, and with the many developments, Raila is going to go past 50% long before May next year. By February, it will be, he will be, it will be a done deal. Ruto will be below 50. Oh, he will be at 30 something. Mm. Yeah, he'll be 40 there, 30 something. 30. If, if the rest of Oka leaders back Baba, will the skills tilt or they will still be, as you say they are, uh, by next month, by next year, Raila leading? Raila will lead whether they back him or not. And you see, backing him it does not necessarily mean it's a good thing for Raila. Mm -hmm. The people could refuse. Because if you are backing Raila, you get what I'm saying? It's also that possibility. The, the, the people from the region yes. saying no example, to Raila. Yes, I've mm. heard them say, mm. if Mudaba doesn't run, mm. they will back Ruto. They don't That's want, also dangerous. Some of them don't want Raila that much. Yeah, there are those who hate Raila that much. But mm. there are not many and mm. things are changing. You know, politics is a game of perception. Mm. When people perceive you as now finished and useless, mm. but when... Kalonzo and Mdaba, they are relegated to relevancy, mm. as soon as that will happen. Mm. The people will also see. It's a psychological game. Mm. They will see. And who tells you these guys are not playing game? Mm -hmm. They are playing. But the focus is on Mount Kenya. Okay, now that Ruto has his plus 50% of votes, what should he do to avoid a runoff or going under Raila in the next couple of months? You know, I have said this until I, I don't want to say it again. Mm. But let me just say it today. Ruto made the mistake mm. of banking all his hope on the mountain boat. Mm. Yet, he was well received across the country. Mm. But he over concentrated on the mountain. Mm. I wanted Ruto to make Mount Kenya vote a bonus vote. Mm. He was able to garner up to 45% of votes across the country. Mm. So that the, the, the Gamma vote will give him just the six, seven, eight at most 10% he needed mm. to win. But he played it the other way around. Mm. The Gamer vote and the Kalenjin vote is what gives him like 40, 45, so that he's looking for five, six, seven percent mm. from across the country. Oh. That was the wrong strategy. Mm. He didn't listen to me, now it's too late. He was so well received. Mm. You know this hustler thing resonated so well with the people in the country. He didn't capitalize on that across the country. Mm concentrated on the mountain, which was supposed to have been a bonus mm. vote. Mm. He made it the main vote. He stood logic on its head. Okay, finally, let me just ask this. In case the numbers become 50-50 and there is a run of Raila Ruto, what will be the possibility of either of them becoming president? What will make them president? It will depend on why the runoff was, why there was no decisive election. Mm. Why didn't we have an outright winner? What was the cause? Mm. That is what will determine the outcome. Mm -hmm. If, for example, 
Uh, if, for example, the Kikuyus have a strong candidate like Jimmy Wanjigi, mm. and then Jimmy Wanjigi is the one going off in a runoff with Raila Odinga, mm. because Rulo, if Jimmy took all the votes of the Kikuyus, mm. make no sure, no, make no, no, no mistake, mm. Ruto will be number three. Uh -huh. So runoff will be between Jimmy and Raila. In that case, the Kalenjin will be so annoyed with the Kikuyus, mm. they will vote for Raila. Oh. To punish the Kikuyus. Can Jimmy actually beat Ruto, though? In, it's not a question of Jimmy beating Ruto. Uh, this is if, if if the Mount Kenya people decide they are tired of, of, of these games between Raila and Ruto, mm. they want to have their own, mm. and they back Jimmy Wanjigi. Is it Jimmy Wanjigi who will go to run off with Raila? Oh, because there will be a run off. Yeah. It can't be Ruto. Ruto Ruto is dependent on Mount Kenya. Uh. Once the Mount Kenya people have their own candidate, the way is Ruto again? He disappears completely. The other regions will, will will not give him the votes. They are not enough. Where they will put them on the table? Where are the votes? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He made the mistake because people received him well across the country. Mm. He should have concentrated, say, in Western mm. and make sure you have over 50% of Western. Mm. For, for him, that was possible. Mm. Now it's not. Now it's, others are woken up. Okay, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Raila. Jimmy Raila, of course, now the Kalenjin will be annoyed because yeah. of the Kikuyus mm. having betrayed Ruto. So mm. they will vote for Raila. Oh. So it, it, this is how it will go. Mm. How will Raila have treated Salem Dabadi mm. and the lawyer mm. in general? If the lawyer feels so offended, mm. in the run of the vote for Ruto, mm. if Ruto is running with, you mm. know, it will depend on what what cost the run of, uh. and how are players treated. If nobody goes on his own, mm. what kind of things was Raila saying about him, Dabadi, mm. and the lawyers? Mm. If he said bad things, if he humiliated him, Dabadi, so much, and the mm. lawyers mm. come. Election, the lawyers will vote for Ruto. Oh. So a by-election in, in a runoff yeah. is always a very tricky affair. So many factors. You have seen like in Iberia when George were now the president. Mm. He had 40 something percent. Mm. But in the runoff, the person who had like 20 percent is the one who took. Oh. Because the dynamics of, of, of the runoff. Everyone rich. Yeah, yeah. They organize their thoughts. Differently. People realign. There are promises made to people. Mm. But mainly anger. Mm. Mainly anger. anger. What did you say? What did you say about that? What mm. did you do about that? Mm. That anger, you betrayed us, Yuki Kuyus. Mm. The Kalenjin would then vote for Raila. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of arrangement. That's, that has been a conversation on uh, the possibility of a runoff come 2022 after the election. It's, as uh, Hamid Menyora has said, it will totally depend on several factors that may come in place. And if the runoff happens, it will also depend on what people said. Uh, how did you talk to the people uh, when you were vying for the elections of, to become president? Those factors will also be considered. Let's have Would You Rather one last time right here on Understanding Politics. Sam, for would you rather look Senator Irungu Kangata or Alice Wahome as Governor Moranga? We're looking at gubernatorial races for, for 2022. It will be Alice, Alice Wahome. Governor mm. Kangata is still juvenile. Mm. He needs some more yeah, experience. He can oh. Okay. Anwai Guru or Masa Karua, Governor Serenyaga. Once time, again, a race. Time, ah. But do you see her winning if she vies again? Girishi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnson Sakaja or Pasaris, Governor Nairobi. Why do you ask the obvious? Uh, you always, you always buy food for Sakaja every single time. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode of Understanding Politics. Actually, as uh, Marshall Mudo who's just sitting next to us said, season finale. Until we have these conversations again, I hope you have understood some of the dynamics that happens in politics. I'm sure that I have. My name is Jadel Cabrero here with Harmon Manure. Have yourselves a lovely rest of your day. <laughs>